If somebody tells you that they have been diagnosed with a mental disability, please believe them. If somebody tells you that they've been diagnosed with schizophrenia or bipolar or CPTSD, just believe them because it's hard enough for people who have these problems to accept that they need help. But when the person who needs the help is in a family that is also in denial that the person needs help, it's a very dangerous situation. My family is in complete denial about my mental health conditions. That's why they're dangerous for me. Because in order for me to get better and to get to a place where I can live, I have to accept that I have these troubles, that I have to take these medications, that I have to do these things. I have to accept my own mental health struggles. And it's hard to do that in a, in a, in a, in an, a group where everybody else is telling you, you don't have anything wrong with you. You're just making it up. You're just lying for attention. It's just drama. That is not how mental health issues work. I did not diagnose myself. I am not medicating myself. I was diagnosed Back when I was 18, I was diagnosed as bipolar. It changed to schizoaffective later, and then CPTSD was added. But when I was in school, like elementary school, the teachers wanted me to see a therapist. And my parents wouldn't allow it because they were in denial that there was anything wrong, either in the household or in their child's brain. I'm 36 years old. And my family is still denying my very clear mental health problems. And it hurts. That's really the only thing I can say about it. It hurts to know that I can't have a family because they don't understand. They don't understand, they don't accept, and they will not budge on their belief that there is no mental health problems in our family. But there are. If you have a loved one who is struggling mentally, please don't make them feel like they are more of a burden or that they're lying because it's, it's simply not how it works. And all you're doing is making your mentally ill family member more mentally ill by insisting that there is nothing wrong. All you have to do is get a job or get a man. No. All I have to do is take my medication and try to get to a place where I can get a job. I definitely don't want a man. That's not something that I am looking for in my life. Having a job one day is a possibility, but only if I can get to that place mentally. And it's going to be harder and harder to get to that place mentally when every day I have hundreds of people telling me there is nothing wrong with you mentally, just get over it. And knowing that many of those people are members of my own family, they share my blood and they have known that I've had these problems my whole life. Even in the interviews, my family will say, well, she's always been this way. Yeah, I've always been mentally unwell. I, I, I can't express enough how important it is for family and friends to be supportive of somebody who is struggling with mental health issues.